The origin of United States Armed Forces Baseball has been traced as far back as the Civil War. For over a century, military baseball has been utilized as an important tool to improve recruiting efforts and the morale of both the armed services and the American people. Following World War I, major league stars such as Ty Cobb and Christy Matheson served their country while playing on teams overseas and at home. Military baseball reached its peak of popularity during World War II as baseball legends Ted Williams, Joe DiMaggio, Hank Greenberg, and Bob Feller headed the list of major league professionals playing on service teams. Today, that tradition is being carried on by the United States Military All-Stars, a joint forces baseball team based in San Diego, California. The team has a current record of 19-2, even though they lose some of their best players every six months to deployment in Iraq. How, in the face of this type of adversity, do they keep up this winning streak? I don't think a professional team that had this kind of turnover would be able to do what we do. And I think it's because we are used to people transferring, uh, people being lost uh, in combat or to other situations where they're gone and someone needs to step up and take it and it has to be a smooth transition. And the military is used to that. And uh, I think we're able to adapt to that and I think that's one of our great strengths. Uh, we had number four who's over, over in Iraq right now, uh, Jake Soviero. 28 is uh, Lieutenant Gurry, Willie Gurry. 53 is Juan Rivera, MA1, Juan Rivera. Um, 54 is Lieutenant Zerzina. Mm -hmm. And uh, number 11 is Lieutenant Commander Everhart, Daryl Everhart, who's over in uh, Afghanistan right now. No, we just keep them in the back of our minds and always thinking about them. And we're always wanting to win games for those guys. Uh, we want to represent them the best we can and just keep pushing on. We want to keep winning games. We want to keep representing those guys and uh, represent our country, represent our coaches, represent our staff, represent ourselves. And that's right, USA. It might take a team, you know, a regular professional team, you know, they go all through spring training. It takes them a couple of months to figure everything out. But we kind of just cut right through all that stuff and, and we're ready to go. And uh, people are able to say what they need to say and do what they need to do. And I think that is why we're so successful. We can adapt to all of that change. We live in there. We love change. Be flexible and make it work. And that part of it, you know, that's just another one of our strong points. Before I joined the military, I was played a couple of years minor league baseball with the New York Mets, and then you know I got hurt, got off, you know, a year and stuff like that, and then I decided to join the military. You know, what I'm saying defend my country. You know, before playing, but at the same time, I love the game. I get the chance, you know. To go defend my people, you know, because I've been in Afghanistan before and I got the chance to do what I like at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a pretty good combination, man. Our mission is to promote the awareness of all Americans in the support of our men and women that are overseas serving right now at the tip of the spear. I think uh, myself and all the other players on the team know that we're, we're always thinking about what's happening overseas and. You know, I know my ship is on, on the deployment, and I wish them all the luck and everybody come home safely. Um, but they have a job to do, and if I get the call, I'll be leaving too as well. <laughs>